don't need any caffeine. I, I, might, I, might, I might halfway through. <laughs> yeah, I took some of your script. You take whatever you want. I recycle I every year. Yeah. Yeah. I said, who's uh, Marilyn Schmigo? No, like, no, that was 20 years ago with Gina. I was going to say her name. Now. I was going to say her name. If I didn't oh, we were thanking her? Yeah. I was like, hey, who, who is this? Oh, God, it's constant. Hello. That doesn't look good. It's gotten so much better. It's gotten so much better. Oh, I have no are. pain right now. Oh. Uh, I don't know if they're going to put lights on, but inside, because uh, when the sun goes down, there's some lights on here. Okay, so let me ask. Down. It is 6.30, and we are going to begin our very special night. Thank you for joining us at our Class of 2023 Scholarship Night. Looking around at everyone in our beautiful new building generates some strong feelings for many of us. Feelings of pride, of hope, of awareness, and individuality are all here. When I entered the room uh, 30 minutes ago, the positive atmosphere and excitement was already here. There is a positive vibe that lives at Attleboro High School. The humbleness we feel towards the generosity of the sponsors tonight spreads far and wide. The confidence and belief in knowing that hard work and perseverance are real things being passed from sponsors to students. Seeing these values connected not only to our students, but to all the individuals involved with their specific and special scholarship sends a message of unity. Tonight's accolades should be seen as an awareness of being seen for who you are, your goals, and your aspirations. Attleboro High School seniors, you are here because people in this room have confidence and faith in your ability. Your desire to put forth your best efforts in life's journeys was recognized, and we know you will continue to make this world a better place. Thank you again for joining our celebration of community, connections, and commitment. What we will do before I introduce our superintendent, we will all stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please take your seats. Again, thank you so much for coming tonight. 
I am the lucky principal of Attleboro High School, and I am here to introduce Dave, Mr. Dave Sawyer, our superintendent. It is hard to believe that it is, was only a year ago that we celebrated the last occurrence of this event in the old AHS, the only school I had ever known as an employee of AAPS. And what a difference a year makes as we enjoy the inaugural scholarship night in this grand new place within a building many said would never be built. This moment, on this occasion, in this locale, is the embodiment of our vision to be the center of a community united around education. Thank you all for your overwhelming generosity to our students. Attleboro is a city that cares about its youth and believes their education is our solemn civic responsibility. The Attleboro Public Schools is honored to deliver on the intentions of our community to uphold these cherished values. And we believe these young adults assembled here tonight to receive your heartfelt munificence are the irrefutable evidence of our collective success. Thank you. Thank you, Superintendent Sawyer. I would like to now welcome up uh, Stephen Withers, Jr., the school committee chairperson. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of the Attleboro School Committee, I want to first uh, thank the many community members here and family members for all their support of the students in this room and the students that have graduated uh, Attleboro High School and continue uh, to attend Attleboro Public Schools. Uh, these students couldn't accomplish everything that they, that they have and um, will continue to accomplish without your support and dedication to their success. So a uh, heartfelt thank you to uh, all our family members and uh, uh, community members for that. Uh, to the upcoming graduates and recipients tonight, uh, I want to say congratulations. Um, you should be very proud. You've earned this recognition that you'll be receiving tonight. And uh, I hope as you're uh, enjoying your senior week, looking, getting ready for graduation, uh, looking forward to uh, years ahead that you take time to really enjoy this time uh, snapshot in your life because it's a really important time um, with friends and to look back on everything you've accomplished. So um, heartfelt congratulations and uh, best of luck in the years ahead. We know you're going to do great things, but uh, please don't forget to uh, enjoy these next few weeks uh, as you become graduates uh, of this high school. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Withers. I would now like to invite the mayor of Attleboro, Mayor DeSimone, up to the pulpit. Hello, APS. So um, I have some comments. The good news is I should be less than two minutes, my friends. So good evening, everyone. Thank you to the Attleboro Public Schools and Principal Campbell for inviting me to speak this evening and to recognize and honor our amazing scholarship recipients and future leaders. I applaud all of the young people here tonight for your academic accomplishments and your demonstrated excellence in leadership. As a fellow Attleboro resident, citizen, and mayor, I am humbled, grateful, and proud of each and every one of you. Thank you, too, very much to the many kind, caring, and generous donors in attendance. Your generosity is not only an investment in these students, it is an investment in the future of our community. In my life, I have learned there are many ways to be a leader, and we are all leaders in our own way. If you influence or impact people, you are a leader. If you make a difference in someone else's life, you are a leader. If you dedicate yourself to scholarship as an example to others, you are leaders. The thing is, 
Most people either don't know or choose not to use their power or ability to change the world. Some think it's easier to lay low and let other people lead, and others are afraid to lead, fearing failure and scrutiny. Some people are afraid to learn, to, new, to learn new things, because learning often means changing. And a few folks don't even have enough faith in themselves or others to think that leadership matters. But leadership is a choice. It's a choice to do your best to learn new things, to get involved, and take responsibility. Leadership is not given by your age, job title, your income, or your last name. Leadership is a choice that anyone can make. Let me repeat that. Leadership is a choice that anyone can make. But you already know this, friends. By your great work and your scholarship, you have shown that you are not afraid to learn and that you believe leadership matters. You have boldly and clearly chosen to act on your ability to change our community and the world. And my friends, this will be a choice you must make again and again in life. In fact, you must make this brave choice every day. When you fail at something, and you will, you must be brave and choose to lead again. When you get bad news, and you will, you must be brave and choose to lead again. When you lose, and you will, you must be brave and choose to lead again. When it feels like things will never change, and it will, you must be brave and choose to lead again. When it feels like you're the only person trying to make a difference in this world, and it will, you must be brave and choose to lead again. Every day, good or bad, sunny or rainy, whether you are alone or surrounded by friends, you must make a choice to lead again. And I sincerely hope that you make that choice to lead and to learn every day of your life. Thank you for choosing to learn and lead today. Thank you for doing your best and making our community a better place. Congratulations, good luck, and have a great summer, my friends. Thank you very much. All right, now for the important part, our students. Please welcome Mr. Doug Heal, our associate principal at Attleboro High School. We're almost to the money, I promise. All right, but before we begin tonight, I'd like to recognize four women for without their tireless, tireless effort, the coordination of these awards would not be possible. Please join me in a warm round of applause for Ms. Wendy Holt, Executive Director of the Attleboro Scholarship Foundation, Ms. Beverly Arsenault from the Foundation, and Ms. Gina Spencer and Ms. Angela Larson from Attleboro High School. These women begin this process sometime around Thanksgiving. On days well after hours, when this building is virtually empty, these women are here working on every detail to make tonight successful. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. We are truly grateful. I would also like to thank our guidance department, Ms. Jeanette Sabelli, Ms. Joanne Janowski, Ms. Jill Boyle, Ms. Sue Sinan, Ms. Kelsey Buckman, Ms. Julie Dunn, Ms. Lindsay McDonald, Mr. Andrew Perillo, Ms. Nellie Ng, Ms. Julie Little. They provided valuable insight into this year's seniors, which helped the selection committee. Tonight, thanks to the generosity of countless people in Attleboro, Attleboro High School, the Attleboro Scholarship Foundation, and the kind donors are proud to award scholarships valuing a quarter of a million dollars. At graduation on June 2nd, an additional $5,000 will be awarded to the members of the class of 2023 through the Metcalf Trust Fund. This is yet another testament to Attleboro's dedication to the success of its students. Finally, students, it is entirely possible that you may be receiving more than one award tonight, so you are encouraged to please stay until the end of the ceremony. All right, so without further ado, let's start giving away some money. And when you come up, you're just gonna come up this way and then you're gonna go right past the screen, past the camera, and then right around. We'll get you there. All right, the first scholarship is a Janella Porter Studley Elementary School Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Janella Porter and her husband, David Ouellette. <laughs> Ms. 
Molly Azanaro, who will be attending Rochester Institute of Technology to study American Sign Language and English Interpretation, has been awarded the scholarship. The next scholarship is the Robert F. Perry Senior Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Bonnie Moore, president of the Attleboro Scholarship Foundation. The scholarship is awarded to Caleb Fournier, who is going to Wentworth Institute of Technology to study computer science. The next scholarship is the Attleboro High School Alumni Association Book Award. Presenting this scholarship is Judy Hebert. The scholarship is awarded to Avery Polzone, who will attend Bristol Community College and major in fine arts. The next scholarship is the Prue Family Book Award. Presenting this scholarship is Connie Prue. The scholarship is awarded to Nicholas Smith, who will attend Worcester Polytechnic Institute with a double major in computer science and history. Not done yet. <laughs> Next up is the Norman J. Pru Memorial Scholarship, given in honor of Norman Pru, who was a loving family man, mentor to many children, and a dedicated worker. The scholarship is awarded to Jessa Flores, who is attending UMass Amherst and will study animal science. The next scholarship is Paul R. Pruel Memorial Scholarship, which is given to honor Mr. Pruel's service to our country. The scholarship is awarded to Evan Cardiff, who is attending Bridgewater State University to study astrophysics. <laughs> the next scholarship is the Christopher McGinnis Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Ann and David McGinnis, his mother and father. The scholarship is awarded to Abigail Fernandez, who will go to Rhode Island College to study health sciences with the intention to go on to veterinary medicine. The next scholarship is the Attleboro Democratic City Committee Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is State Representative Jim Hawkins and School Committee member Chris Frappier. The scholarship is awarded to Courtney Almeida, who will attend Bristol Community College to study general education with the intention of pursuing art. The next scholarship is the Dave Allard Memorial Scholarship, DARE. Presenting this scholarship is Patricia Allard.
The scholarship is awarded to Caitlin Fontaine, who is attending Bristol Community College. The next scholarship is the Attleboro Garden Club Scholarship. Presenting the scholarship is Naomi Cordell. This, this scholarship is awarded to Michael Lachance, who plans to attend Paul Smith College in New York to study forestry. The next scholarship is a South Attleboro Lions Club's Louis Lasavita Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Ray Hebert. <laughs> this scholarship is awarded to the following students. Nick Costinos, who will attend Northeastern University to major in psychology. Jessa Flores and Nicholas Smith. The next scholarship is the South Attleboro Village Lions Book Award. Presenting this scholarship is Judy Hebert. <laughs> this scholarship is awarded to the following students. Quinn Farrier will attend Bristol Community College and major in biology and zoology, and Haley Patel, who will study public health sciences at UMass Amherst. The next scholarship is Richard Silva and Joseph Bono Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Ray Hebert. <laughs> this scholarship is awarded to Jessa Flores. The next scholarship is the Captain Walter L. Hegney Jr. Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Diane Hegney, his wife. This scholarship is awarded to the following students, Ethan DeLauriers and Michelle LaValle, who will attend UMass Dartmouth to study psychology. The next scholarship is a Sandy Devine Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Betsy Devine, Sandy's daughter. I'm sorry. The scholarship is awarded to Herminia Lima, who will attend the prestigious UMass Amherst Eisenberg School of Management to major in management. The next scholarship is the Hewitt Ponson Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Bonnie Moore. <laughs> the, 
This scholarship is awarded to Sky Sinelli, who will be attending U the University of Connecticut to stud study criminal psychology. The next scholarship is the AHS Class of 1952 Scholarship. Presenting the scholarship is Betty Fuller, a member of the Class of 1952. <laughs> this scholarship will be awarded to the following students. Daniel Killian, who will attend Bridgewater State University to study aviation management and Owen Parker, who is attending MTTI to study plumbing. <laughs> the next scholarship is the AHS Cheerleader Booster Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Bonnie Moore. This scholarship is awarded to Tatiana Morales, who will attend Rhode Island College and major in social work. The next scholarship is the Bluestone Bank Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Alan Benjamin, Assistant Branch Manager of the Plainville Bank. This scholarship is awarded to Vance Crawford, who will attend the University of Pennsylvania to study finance. The next scholarship is the Nathan Parker Memorial Scholarship which is given in memory of a truly special person who inspired all by his gift and sincerity and a bottomless heart. Presenting this scholarship is Sarah Parker, Nathan's cousin, and Dave Silvera, president of the Nathan Parker Foundation. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Sophia Casper, who is planning to study fashion design at UMass Dartmouth. Cammie Clifford, who will attend Westfield State College and pursue studies in social work. And Nick Wilson will attend Br Bristol Community College. The next scholarship is a Nicholas Vero Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Samantha Pierce, Nick's girlfriend, and Jeffrey Pierce. The scholarship is awarded to the following students. Brianna Frasora, who is attending Roger Williams University for Creative Writing and Journalism. Spencer Shirk, who will attend the University of New England to study education and play football. And Zoe Stanley, who will study psychology at Bridgewater State University. The next scholarship is the Nelito Carlino Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Rocco Carlino, Nick's dad, I'm sorry, Nelito's dad, and Mark Blandon. <clears throat> the 
The scholarship is awarded to the following students. Miracle R.C., who will attend Johnson & Wales University and major in baking and pastry arts, and Alexis McDonald, who plans to attend Johnson & Wales with a double major of baking, pastry, baking and pastry and food and beverage management. The next scholarship is the Bristol County Savings Bank Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Kate Campbell. The scholarship is awarded to Anaya Yutse, who will be studying sociology at Providence College. And one more, Herminia Lima. Herminia, I'm sorry. The next scholarship is the Lavanya Reddy Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Jaws Malik and family friends. Okay, the scholarship is awarded to Brianna Frasora. The next scholarship is the Ellen Teresa Wade Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Bonnie Moore. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Isabel Marks, who will be studying nursing at UMass Amherst, and Julia Marks, who will be studying nursing at Fitchburg State University. The next scholarship is the Emmett Larkin Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is D. Larkin, Emmett's brother, and Leo Johnson, Attleboro Recreation Chairman. The following are this year's recipients. Peter Del Pozo, who will attend Norwich University and major in criminal justice. Cooper Johnson, who will be attending the United States Military Academy at West Point to study mechanical engineering. <laughs> Daniel Johnson, who will be entering electrical apprenticeship. Ella Blaisdell, who will attend the University of South Alabama and major in computer science. And Ella Fisher, who will attend the Massachusetts College of Art and Design to study architecture. And Spencer Shirk and Zoe, Zoe Stanley. Cooper Johnson, if you could please remain on stage. I didn't know that was you. I'd like to invite up Dale L. Kurtz, our West Point Congressional District Coordinator.
Thank you. I am an admissions liaison officer for the United States Military Academy at West Point. I am also a graduate of the Academy. First, I would like to acknowledge any veterans in the audience and those who have sons or daughters or other family members currently serving our country in uniform. Thank you for your contribution to our nation. Less than one half of 1% one of the citizens of the United States now serve in our armed forces. The mission of West Point is to educate, train, and inspire the core cadets so that each graduate is commissioned a leader of character, committed to the values of duty, honor, country, and prepared for a career of professional excellence and service to the nation as an officer in the United States Army. Cooper Johnson has accepted the challenges of the West Point mission and has earned a scholarship that includes all tuition, room, board, medical care, and training valued at over $500,000. In July, Cooper will join about 1,250 other young men and women who will spend the next 47 months being physically and academically challenged at a beautiful and historic yet demanding place that is unquestionably the world's premier leadership institution. The mayor spoke about leadership. West Point is about leadership. Among its graduates are such famous leaders as Grant, Pershing, Eisenhower, MacArthur, Rhode Island Senator Jack Reed, former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, and the current Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. In addition to leadership, West Point is also among the nation's top academic institutions, consistently, consistently being named the top college by Forbes magazine, the Princeton Review, and other college rankings. West Point offers over 35 academic majors in both the sciences and the humanities. West Point is fourth on the Rhodes Scholars list, seventh on the list of Marshall Scholars, and fourth on the list of Hertz Fellows the scientific equivalent of the roads. West Point cadets also undergo rigorous physical training, leadership development, and moral ethical training to develop those attributes necessary to become a commissioned leader of character as an officer in the United States Army, serving our soldiers, our army, and our nation. Cooper is a great example of the young Americans West Point seeks to lead our soldiers and our army. They're well-rounded and at the top of their peer group in three areas, academics, leadership, and athletics. Upon graduation with a Bachelor of Science degree from West Point, he will become a second lieutenant in the United States Army. As an officer, he will be entrusted with the responsibility of leading our sons and daughters in difficult assignments around the world. In these challenging times, it is important that we all realize the magnitude of this responsibility. Cooper has proven to date that he has what it takes to succeed at West Point and as an officer in the United States Army. I know that Cooper's family, friends, and community are very proud of him. I am confident that he will be very successful at West Point. So on behalf of the President of the United States of America, the Admissions Committee of the United States Military Academy, the Superintendent of the United States Military Academy, Lieutenant General Stephen W. Gilland. It gives me great pleasure to present Cooper Jack Johnson with this certificate of acceptance to the West Point Class of 2027.
I got a chance to catch my second win. Thank you. <laughs> All right, the next scholarship is the Rachel Brannigan Education Foundation Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Judith Lusk and Kathy Lallier. The scholarship is awarded to, awarded to Ella Fisher. The next scholarship is the Zachary Seidlitz Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Bonnie Moore. The scholarship is awarded to the following students. Brandon Gillette, who will be attending UMass Dartmouth and study business, and Colin Flynn, who will be attending Anna Maria College and major in sports management while playing hockey. The next scholarship is the Lynn Goodchild Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Bill and Ellen Goodchild, Lynn's parents. This scholarship is awarded to Ethan DeLauriers, who will be attending Roger Williams University and majoring in criminal justice. The next scholarship is the Class of 2023 Excellence Award. Presenting this scholarship is Karen Pereira and Laura Nibola, the Class Advisors for the Class of 2023. The scholarship is awarded to Karen Dureni, the who will attend the Univ University of Rochester and major in biochemistry. <laughs> the next scholarship is the Chittenango Class of 1986 Jeff Froyo Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this will be Kate Campbell. Yay, Kate. <laughs> it's coming. The scholarship is awarded to Caroline Froyo, who will attend Bridgewater State University and will major in elementary education and minor in special education. The next scholarship is the Friends of CTE Book Award. Presenting the next five scholarships will be Bonnie Moore. All right, this scholarship is awarded to the following students. Kyle Armstrong, who will attend the Hobart, Hobart Institute of Welding. Zachary Dean, who will study business administration at Cairn University. Henry Napper Shack, who will attend the New England Institute of Technology and major in welding. And Jake Sanford, who will major in history at Bristol Community College.
All right. The next scholarship is the Friends of CTE Scholarship, again presented by Bonnie Moore. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Max Fairweather, who will attend the University of Connecticut for Mechanical Engineering, and Zachary Richard, who will attend the Wentworth Institute of Technology for Mechanical Engineering. The next scholarship is the Winifred D. Nelson Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Haley London, who will attend the University of Rhode Island and major in early education. The next scholarship is the Hebronville Community Association Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Ella Blaisdell. The next scholarship is the Raymond Goosey Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Spencer Shirk. The next scholarship is the VFW Post 115 DeSimone Family Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Kathleen and Laura DeSimone. <laughs> this scholarship is awarded to Carter Shelton, who will attend Roger Williams University to study business management and will be playing lacrosse. The next scholarship is the Dwayne Lockhart Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Ethel Garvin, a member of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Committee of Greater Attleboro. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Glesia Fernandez Vieira, who will attend LaSalle University and major in biology, and Matthew Vallejos, who will study exercise science at UMass Lowell. The next scholarship is the Joseph and Darren Major Computer, of College Computer for College Program. Presenting this scholarship will again be Ethel Garvin. The scholarship is awarded to Darren St. Fort, who will attend Bridgewater State University and study in computer science and cybersecurity. The next scholarship is the Kimberly Lima Ritaco Memorial Scholarship, which is given by her family. Presenting this scholarship is Bill and Kathy Lima, Lima Kimberly's parents. The scholarship is awarded to Zoe Stanley.
The next scholarship is the Florence Sweet Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Dan Larson, the president of the Florence Sweet Clubhouse, and Betty Larson, club secretary. This scholarship is awarded to Josephine Nachi, who will attend the University of Vermont and study computer science. The next scholarship is the Jenny Lesperance Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Brian and Sue Lesperance, Jenny's parents, and Pear Supernard, her sister. The scholarship is awarded to the following students. Mackenzie Peachwall, who will attend UMass Boston to study nursing, and Natalie Braganza, who will attend UMass Amherst and major in biology and pre-medical sciences. All right, the next scholarship is the Fred W. Thompson Athletic Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this will be Bonnie Moore. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Ella Fisher and Ian Miller. Ian will attend Roger Williams, Roger Williams University for marine biology. The next scholarship is a Janet Poor Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Glesia Fernandez Vieira. The next scholarship is the Joey Poirier Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Macy Jamison, who will attend Westfield State University to study forensic psychology. The next scholarship is the John G. Walsh Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Ninad Bartaki, who will attend Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. The next scholarship is Ray, the Ray Conniff Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Nicholas Smith. The next scholarship is the Brennan Middle School Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Tanya Burry and Sandra McKenzie, both of whom are Brennan faculty members. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Molly Azanaro, Grace Lehane, who will attend Johnson & Wales and major in culinary nutrition, Haley London, who will, attend the U who will attend URI and major in early childhood education, and Casey Victoria, Victorio, who will attend Westfield State University and study criminal justice. The next scholarship is the Keith Rooks Memorial Scholarship. 
Presenting the scholarship will be Elaine Rooks, Keith's mom, and Steve Brazier, Keith's uncle. This scholarship is awarded to Lauren Lombardi, who will attend Roger Williams University and major in forensic science. The next scholarship is the Attleboro Public Schools Administrators Alliance Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Kate Campbell. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Vance Crawford, Henry Gason, who will attend Roger Williams University and study in international business, and Robert Sawyer, who will attend the University of New Hampshire and study computer science. The next several scholarships are from the Attleboro Lodge of Elks, number 1014. The first one is the Harold F. Wellman Art Music Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Robin Perry, Elks Exhausted Ruler, Exalted, I'm sorry, you're not exhausted, you probably are, <laughs> and April Dayton, Esteemed Leading Knight. This scholarship is awarded to Tegan Medeiros, who will attend the Massachusetts College of Art and Design to study fashion design and illustration. <laughs> Correction, T. I apologize. The next, scholarship is the, the next scholarship is the Aldridge J. and Virginia Robinson Culinary Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Alexis McDonald. The next scholarship is the Richard W. Lennox Memorial Vocational Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Ash McMahon, who will attend Bristol Community College. The next scholarship is the Timothy O'Hare Memorial Scholarship. The scholarship is awarded to Andrew Viveros, who will attend Roger Williams University to study mechanical engineering. The next scholarship is the Louis J. Qualia Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Jaden Rivera, who will attend Wentworth Institute of Technology and major in mechanical engineering. The next, the next scholarship is the Past Exalted Rulers Leadership Legacy Scholarship. The scholarship is awarded to Emily Dunlay, who will attend Eastern Connecticut State University to major in biology and genetic counseling and will play soccer.
The next scholarship is the Raymond Matthew Hospitality Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Kira Davis, who will attend UMass Boston and major in business and marketing. The next scholarship is the Attleboro Educational Clerical Association Book Award. Presenting this scholarship is Michelle Bartaki. This scholarship is awarded to Ninad Bartaki. The next scholarship is the Thomas J. Carroll Memorial Scholarship. Presenting the scholarship is Arthur Brillon, Fraternal Order of Police, Large 30, Large Secretary, and Jim Franco, President. Kate w Campbell will present on their behalf. The scholarship is awarded to Christiana McGettigan, who will attend Suffolk University. All right, the next scholarship is the Ken Breeze Memorial Book Award. Presenting the next four scholarships will be Kate Campbell, Attleboro High School principal. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Adam Field, who will attend the Worcester Polytechnic Institute to major in physics. Alexandra Tetro, who will attend Endicott College and major in interior design. Isla Santorio, Santoro, who will attend the Massachusetts Maritime Academy and will be studying marine science, safety, and environmental protection. Emily Dunlay. S. Finn Morales, who will be studying sports management at Bristol Community College. Ian Miller. Jackson Forrester, who will be studying building construction technology at the New England Institute of Technology. Jake Stromfers, who will be studying international business at the University of New Hampshire. Casey Parker, who will attend the University of Rhode Island and study kinesiology. Kaylin Gray, who will attend the University of Vermont Honors College to study exercise science. Lindsay Anastasia, who will attend Westchester University for nursing. Lucas Marks, who will attend University of Tampa for international business and entrepreneurship. Rebecca Rainey, who will study marketing at the University of New Hampshire. And Richard Ferreira, will attend the University of Rhode Island to study finance. The next scholarship is the Attleboro Chapter DAR Edna Butterworth Wood Edna Butterworth Wood Memorial Scholarship. Presenting will be Sue Irwin. The scholarship is, is awarded to Sarah Lorela, who will attend Stonehill College and study criminology. The next scholarship is the Attleboro Chapter DAR Jane E. Nerney Excellence in History Award. This scholarship is awarded to Michael Jennison, who will attend the University of South Carolina for business. The next scholarship is, a, is the Sodexo Education Services Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Kate Campbell. 
This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Corey Evelyn, who will attend the Massasoit Community College and study veterinary technology. Curtis Kane, who will attend Bridgewater State University and major in criminal justice. Grace Lehane. John Pasmino, who will attend Bridgewater State University and major in criminal justice. And Kira Davis. The next scholarship is the Joseph A. Rodriguez Memorial Scholarship, which is given in, mem in his memory. Mr. Rodriguez was known and admired for his kindness and compassion. Presenting this scholarship is Rui Rodriguez, his brother, and Sean Perry, his best friend. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Jaden Stevens Outland, who will attend Framingham State University and play basketball. Justin Hanrahan, Michael Alfonso, who will attend UMass Dartmouth and study management and, and, and information systems. Michael Beverly, who will attend New England Institute of Technology to become a commercial electrician. Nathan Hodson, who will attend Bridgewater State University and major in physical education. Spencer Shirk and Zaim Charles Sabaz, who will major in criminal justice at UMass Dartmouth. The next scholarship is the Attleboro Varsity Booster Club Book Award. Presenting this scholarship will be Kelly Crowley and Tara Irwin. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Lindsay Anastasia, Nathan Hodson, Sarah Mayer, who will attend Nichols College and study criminal justice and play basketball, and Robert Sawyer. The next scholarship is the Environmental Systems, Inc. CTE Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Ed Copes, ESI Operations Manager. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Daniel Thay Aru, who will attend MTTI for construction. Henry Napper Shack. Kyle Armstrong and Samantha Fergalt, who will attend Ferris State University in Michigan to study welding engineering technology. The next scholarship is the Leonard Jensen Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Mary Jane Jensen, Leonard's wife, and Susan Jensen, his daughter. This scholarship is awarded to Stella Kravitz, who will attend the University of New Hampshire and major in health, science, health sciences.
The next scholarship is the Blue Pride Gridiron Football Scholarship. Presenting the scholarship is Jim Desper, president of the Blue Pride Gridiron Club. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Jack Brady Fitzgerald, who will attend the Massachusetts Maritime Academy and major in marine engineering while playing football. And Cole McKenna, who will attend Southern New Hampshire University and major in finance. And Spencer Shirk. The next scholarship is the Bob Fredette Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Charlotte Fredette, his wife, and Michelle Hume, Hume his daughter. <laughs> this scholarship is awarded to the following students. Bridget Mullet, who is being recognized for her contributions to cheerleading and will be attending Providence College and participating in cheerleading, and Anthony Salviati, who is being recognized for his football teamwork, who will be attending Franklin Pierce University to study health science and finance and play football. The next scholarship is the Rebecca Lynn Whitefield Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Stephanie Purchase, Lori Henry, and Abby Henry. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Gabriella Sprovieri, who will attend the University of New Hampshire and study psychology with a minor in forensic science. Glizia, Glizia Fernandez Vieira, Isabel Marks, Casey Parker, Cammie Clifford, Peter Del Pozo, Robert Sawyer, Spencer Shirk, and Victoria Junkins, who will attend Bridgewater State University in mar in, for marketing, and finally, Zoe Stanley. The next scholarship is the Attleboro Whitehawks Blaise Roberge Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Dave Nolan, President. <laughs> this scholarship is awarded to the following students. Anthony Sullivan will attend Bryant University and major in international business with a focus in finance and Casey Victorio will attend Westfield State University and study in criminal justice. The next scholarship is the Attleboro Whitehawks Scholarship, Erin Brady Lee Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Peter Del Pozo. The next scholarship is the Attleboro Whitehawks Phil Elias Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Spencer Shirk.
The next scholarship is the Attleboro Whitehawks Christopher Hutchin Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Aiden Hawkwater, who will attend UMass Dartmouth to study computer science and cybersecurity. The next scholarship is the Michelle Dickens Weil Memorial Scholarship. Presenting the next two scholarships is Tara Holzman, one of Michelle's colleagues from Coelho Middle School, and Evan Weil, Michelle's husband. This scholarship is awarded to Sarah Mayer. The next scholarship is the Coelho Student Faculty Book Award. This scholarship is awarded to Zephyr Poirier, who will attend Bristol Community College and major in computer science. Zephyr is not here this evening. The next scholarship is the Attleboro Lacrosse Association Scholarship. Presenting the next two scholarships is Jennifer McCough and Heather Newman. This scholarship is awarded to the following students, Carter Shelton and Jordan Mooney, who will attend Fairfield University to study psychology. The next scholarship is the Alex Banner Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Bonnie Moore. No. No? That's what it says. Okay. They're staying. Uh, this scholarship is awarded to Robert Sawyer. The next scholarship is the Steve Garetti Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Brian Legg, his best friend and member of the class of 1985. This scholarship is awarded to Peter Del Pozo. The next scholarship is the Stepping Stones Child Care Network Scholarship. Presenting the next four scholarships is Bonnie Moore. This scholarship is awarded to Molly Azanaro. The next scholarship is the Melvin Santos Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Nydia Maricia, who will attend Bryant University and major in Marketing Management and Finance, and Jake Stromfers.
The next scholarship is a George R. Briggs Jr. Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Hannah Aronson, who will attend Clark University and major in psychology. The next scholarship is the Falls AC Golf League Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Carter Shelton. The next scholarship is the Cecilia's Adventures. Presenting this scholarship will be Dara and Matt Goosey, Cecilia's mom and dad. This scholarship is awarded to Molly Azanaro. The next scholarship is the Al Jagannath Memorial Scholarship. Presenting these scholarships are Padma Jagannath, his wife, and Lachmi Hobson, his daughter, and Sunil Jagannath. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Henry Gason and Sabrina Paulette, who will attend the Massachusetts College of Art and Design to major in art education and minor in studio art. The next scholarship is the James and Phyllis Lee Attleboro Area Hall of Fame Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Bonnie Moore. This scholarship is awarded to Aiden Ramirez, who will be studying finance at Framingham State University and playing football. The next scholarship is the Linda Souza A Better Dream Scholarship. Presenting these scholarships are Ron and Jan LeClaire, Linda's parents. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. David Correa Fernandez Nunes will be studying early childhood education at Bristol Community College and Pleasy Kellum White who will be attending Bristol Community College to study business management. The next scholarship is the Jamie Carter McKenna Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Stephen McKenna. This scholarship is awarded to Cole McKenna.
The next scholarship is the Adoro Charity Scholarship Foundation, the Kenneth N. Breeze Senior Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Bonnie Moore. This scholarship is awarded to Kaylin Gray. The next scholarship is the Alpha Delta Kappa Epsilon Chapter Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Patricia Knox. This scholarship is awarded to Haley London. The next scholarship is the Nancy Larson Zarl Nursing and Health Related Careers Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Dr. Tom Zarl, Nancy's husband. The scholarship is awarded to Megan Ferreira, who will attend Quinnipiac University in their direct entry Physician's Assistant Program. The next scholarship is the Charles P. Kokonis Memorial Scholarship. Presenting the next 17 scholarships is Kate Campbell. Wow. <laughs> this scholarship is awarded to Stella Kravitz. The next scholarship is the Joseph Finberg Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Donovan Riley will attend the Massachusetts College of Pharmacy and Health Sciences to double major in nursing. Jaheem Kalix will attend Quinnipiac University to study health sciences. Justin Peroni will attend Springfield College and major in movement and sports studies. Callie Kerrigan will attend the Massachusetts College of Art and Design and major in illustration. Michael Beverly, Richard Ferreira, Riley Perino will attend Bryant University to major in finance, and Xavier Henning will attend Worcester State University to study computer science. The next scholarship is the John Simpson Jr. Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Abdul Beg will attend UMass Boston and major in computer science. Evan Matheson will attend LaSalle University and major in sports management. Jaheem Kalixt. J Jillian Amaya will attend Endicott College and pursue a degree in liberal arts. Kaylee Bach will attend UMass Boston for nursing. Marlia Tu Mariko will attend UMass Dartmouth for nursing, and Eliza Flynn, who is attending Stonehill College in the fall to study chemistry. <laughs> the next scholarship is the Richard H. Sweet Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Callie Kerrigan. The next scholarship is the Armand Bassett Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Zachary Dean.
The next scholarship is the Harold Barbarian Athletic Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Casey Victorio. The next scholarship is a James E. Zamutsky Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Brandon Gillette, Jaden Curry will attend Johnson & Wales University and study finance. Joshua Portillo will attend UMass Dartmouth and major in civil engineering. Kevin Hovajimian will attend Bristol Community College. Mel and Melvin Lopez will attend Bristol Community College for business administration. And finally, Xavier Henning. The next scholarship is the Sturdy Memorial Hospital Alumni Association Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Marlia Tu Marico. The next scholarship is the Francis Driscoll Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Colin Flynn. The next scholarship is the Arthur Boulay Chartier Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Ella Stromfers, who will attend the University of Connecticut to study psychology and pre-medical science. The next scholarship is the Adolph Bender Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Evan Cardiff. The next scholarship is the Guy W. Weymouth Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Gianna Alviero. Alviero will attend Bristol Community College. Alviero. Not here, okay. The next scholarship is the James W. Butler Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Samantha Fregalt. The next scholarship is the Robert S. Haggerty Technology Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Luke Winner, who will attend the UMass Dartmouth and major in psychology. The next scholarship is the Pearl Heighton Fine Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Callie Kerrigan. The next scholarship is the Christopher M. Infante Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Nicole Needham, who will attend the Worcester Polytechnic Institute to major in computer science. The next scholarship is the Nick Marcaccio Memorial Scholarship. 
This scholarship is awarded to Grace Lahane. The next scholarship is the Theta Beta Chapter of Sigma Phi Gamma International, so International Sorority Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Ava Lee Bernard, who will attend UMass Boston to study nursing. The next scholarship is the Attleboro High School chapter of the National Honor Society Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship will be Angela Larson, An Angela Larson the National Honor Society advisor. <laughs> this scholarship is awarded to the following students, Justin Peroni and Victoria Junkins. The next scholarship is the Blue Pride Ambassadors Club. Presenting this scholarship will be Bonnie Moore. This scholarship is awarded to Stella Kravitz. The next scholarship is the John and Emma Morin Memorial Scholarship. Presenting the next three scholarships will be Kate Campbell. This scholarship is awarded to Jonathan Joseph, who will be attending Bristol Community College and majoring in computer science. The next scholarship is the John A. Raposa Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Luke Winner. The next scholarship is the Honeydew Donuts Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Jaden Stevens Outland. The next scholarship is the Mary Sumner and Taya Memorial Art Scholarship. Presenting the next 14 scholarships will be Bonnie Moore. This scholarship is awarded to Callie Kerrigan. The next scholarship is the AHS class of 1949. This scholarship is awarded to Emily Hang, who will attend Assumption University and major in international business. The next scholarship is the Dana Roy Gagney Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Lucas Marks. The 
The next scholarship is the William R. Bergevine Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Benjamin Kelleher, who will attend Quinnipiac University and major in video game design and development. The next scholarship is the Elwin and Virginia Gaten Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Quentin Faria. The next scholarship is a class of 1951 scholarship. The scholarship is awarded to Matthew Vallejos. The next scholarship is the Maureen Weldon Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Aaron Gallagher, who will attend the University of New Hampshire to study elementary education. The next scholarship is a Susan M. Kalo Finn Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Ella Stromfers. The next scholarship is the AHS Class of 1935 Scholarship. The scholarship is awarded to the following students, Peter Del Pozo and Sarah Lorela. The next scholarship is the Ridgewood Fund Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Aidan Doucette, who will attend Bridgewater State University and has been accepted into the Honors Program to double major in Criminal Justice and Political Science. The next scholarship is the Robert and Doris Birch Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Emily Chartier will attend James Madison University and study health sciences and psychology. Flor Hernandez will attend Bristol Community College and study psychology. Janelle Lopez will attend Wheaton College and major in criminal justice. Jonathan Dean will attend Assumption University to major in rehabilitation counseling. Juliet Sinali will attend UMass Boston for sports leadership. Lauren Eby will attend Rhode Island College to major in nursing and play softball. Michelle Lavalley and Vernon Crawford who will attend Bristol Community College. The next scholarship is the Attleboro Lions Club Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Nicholas Costinos. The next scholarship is the Marlene Mills Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Delmi Choi, who will attend UMass Boston to major in biology. The next scholarship is the Coelho Family Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to the following students, Isla Santoro, 
and Zachary Medeiros, who will attend Northeastern University and major in computer science. The next scholarship is a Professional Firefighters of Attleboro Local 848 Scholarship. Presenting this scholarship is Justin Jackson, a member of the Local 848. <laughs> Presenting on behalf of Justin Jackson will be Kate Campbell. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Aaron Gallagher, Lindsay Anastasia, and Michael Lachance. The next scholarship is the William R. Flynn Jr. Memorial Scholarship. Please welcome back Bonnie Moore back to the stage for several scholarships. This scholarship is awarded to the following students, Grace Lehane and Robert Sawyer. The next scholarship is the Class of 1947 Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Zachary Seville, who will study computer science at Worcester Polytechnic Institute. The next scholarship is the William F. Dench Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Adam Field, who is being recognized for his work in physics, and Cooper Johnson, who is receiving this for this, his swim team contributions. The next scholarship is the Doris B. Durfee Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Layla Paiva, who will attend Johnson & Wales University and major in biology with a pre-med track. The next scholarship is the Ida Tufts Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. Tegan Bombardier, who will attend Bridgewater State University and major in biology. Karen Derany. Ethan Doyle, who will attend LaSalle University and major in marketing. Victoria Junkins and Delaney Sorois, who will attend the University of Rhode Island and study communicative disorders. The next scholarship is the Stephen Henderson Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Ninad Bartaki. The next scholarship is the Hyman Fine Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to G Gabriella Sprovieri. Gabri Gabriella, I'm sorry. <laughs> the 
The next scholarship is the David J. Lonegren Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Cole McKenna. The next scholarship is the Brain and Advance Industries Book Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Nicole Needham. The next scholarship is the William Red Madden Memorial Schol Book Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Aiden Hawkwater. The next scholarship is the Marsha Nittel Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Liliana Lyons, who will attend Roger Williams University to major in biology. The next scholarship is the Emilio Scaldini Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Jackson Forrester. The next scholarship is the Helen E. B. Bromley Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Rebecca Martin, who will attend the Bristol Community College in Donovan Riley. The next scholarship is the Robert Keeler Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Ava Lee Bernard. The next scholarship is a Scott R. Libby scholarship. Presenting this will still be Bonnie Moore, and this scholarship is awarded to Cooper Johnson. The next scholarship is the Wamsutta Middle School Book Award. This scholarship is awarded to the following students, Ethan Doyle, Emily Dunlay, and Henry Gason.
The next scholarship is a Samantha Brazil Memorial Scholarship. Presenting this award will be Deb Carrero. This scholarship is awarded to Lily Ruthier, who will be attending Johnson & Wales University to study psychology. The next scholarship is Stephen H. Sullivan Memorial Scholarship. Back to the stage is Bonnie Moore. The scholarship is awarded to Rebecca Rainey. The next scholarship is the Attleboro Rotary Charities Foundation Andrew Nimorowski Jr. Memorial Vocational Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to the following students, Sarah Mayer and Caitlin Arbizianis, who will attend UMass Boston for nursing. The next scholarship is the Attleboro Rotary Charities Foundation Service Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Glesia Fernandez Vieira. The next scholarship is the Anthony D. Fung Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Jeffrey Houdon, who will attend Sacred Heart University to major in exercise science and physical therapy. The next scholarship is a Geraldine N. Nerney Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Olivia Bassett, who will attend Quinnipiac University as a nursing major. The next scholarship is the Tilly and Al White Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Zachary Richard. The next scholarship is the Esther Zamutsky Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Abdul Baig. The next scholarship is the Patricia M. Izzy Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to Morgan Graves, who will attend the University of Rhode Island and major in elementary education. The next scholarship is the Kiwanis Club of Greater Attleboro Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to the following students. 
Destiny Stokes, who will attend Eastern Nazarene College and study early childhood education with a minor in psychology, and Emma Keene, who will attend the University of Rhode Island as a nursing major. The next scholarship is the Jack Strachan Memorial Scholarship. Kate Campbell will present this award. This scholarship is awarded to the following students, Cole McKenna and Spencer Shirk. The next scholarship is the Lloyd G. Balfour Foundation Service. Bonnie Moore will present this scholarship. This is awarded to Emily Dunlay. The next scholarship is the Lloyd G. Balfour Attleboro Area Foundation Football Hall of Fame Scholarship. Presenting the next three Balfour Awards is Kate Campbell and Bonnie Moore. This scholarship is awarded to the following students, Jack Brady Fitzgerald, Cole McKenna, Aiden Ramirez, Anthony Salviati, and Spencer Shirk. The next scholarship is the Lloyd G. Balfour Foundation Scholarships. This scholarship is awarded to the following student, Aiden Killo, who will attend Bristol Community College and study in engineering, Jake Sanford and Andrew Viveros. All right, this is it for the scholarships. Balfour Grants, here we go. The scholarship is awarded to the following students. Adam Field, Alexander, Alexandra Tatro, Ashley Dam, who will attend Merrimack College and major in nursing, Ava Lee Bernard, Benjamin Kelleher, Brianna Frasora, Cole McKenna, Darren St. Fort, Emily Hang, Erin Gallagher, Grace Lehane, Haley London, Hamza Siddiqui, who will attend Northeastern University and major in business and finance, Ian Miller, Isabella Marks, Jaden Rivera, Julia Marks, Nicholas Smith, Nick Wilson, and Zachary Medeiros.
This concludes the scholarship portion of the evening. Please stay seated as we ask Mrs. Campbell to come up for closing remarks and to announce the valedictorian salutatorian for the class of 2023. Thank you, Mr. Heal. That was not an easy job. You did a fantastic uh, job with names and awards. Before I announce our last two um, acknowledgements for the night, I really want to thank everyone who was sitting here tonight. Um, it was a long time that we were sitting, as some kids might say, for during the day, but it was an exciting time. Um, watching you all cheer for one another and give um, a high five to one of your friends when they walk by really shows the connections that you all have as a class of 2023. A few more shout outs. Thank you to all the parents and the grandparents and the relatives that came to celebrate your student and your child today. Um, it's been an unusual journey for some of our high school graduates um, over their high school careers. And they have uh, shown their resiliency and truly how they're going to continue on their journey. I'd also like to thank the admin team. It's 836. I know we're going on our, I don't know, 14th, 16th hour, whatever it is. But thank you to all the admin team that stayed through and is here tonight. They also wanted to celebrate all of our seniors. Thank you to all the teachers. There were a lot of teachers who were here to celebrate with all of you. All right, I have two very important announcements who we will see at one of our next big events on June, in June. Everybody know our date? When are we graduating, everybody? All right. I would like to congratulate the valedictorian for the Attleboro High School graduating class of 2023, Emily Dunley. Congratulations, Emily. My next announcement for the evening is our salutatorian this year will be Vance Crawford. <laughs> There are many, many superstars sitting in this room tonight. What makes me the most proud as your principal is listening to you cheer on one another and congratulate one, of you, one another. All right, it's 8.38. I appreciate everyone who came out tonight. Uh, thank you for the people on the community stairs. We enjoyed seeing you. S seniors, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. Maybe. <laughs>